All right. <clears throat> so we're back with the second part. Um, I'm playing this um just after the first one. Holy shit! What? Okay. Um, so I do need to figure out um like what's the logic behind running away from that guy? Like, do I have to be like two uh, levels away then hide and it will work or something? I think he just has to not see me, I guess. So I need to hide somewhere in a room or something. Uh, what the? F What's the? Hello. Oh my god! Is that a monster? Uh, that's not a monster. Uh, wait, don't hurt me. The girl is making quick movements with her hands. What did she do? Her eyes widened. Before putting her head down and returning to her seat. Hold on, uh, can you do that again? How long? Oh, how long have you been here? Oh, she can't speak? Incense? Um, you know how to sign? Yeah, I mean, uh, wow, you are the first visitor I have seen that knows it. Ah, I took a bunch of classes for it at Y when I was in uh, middle school. Though it would make me cooler. Turns thought it it would make me cooler. Um, turns out it just made me look more like a nerd. Is that really a bad thing? Back then, yeah, less of a bad thing in college. Uh, you are really good at this. I had to learn from the books here. Come sit down with me. I can make sure none of the others here bother you for a bit. Is something wrong? <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. Sit down, bruh. Do I scare you? No, you're not scary. Don't lie. I know I look horrifying. I mean, you're nothing like that TV static thing. Huh. Just looking at him felt like my brain was start to leak out of my ears. I'm really not upset. It's just something I have accepted. Most visitors scream when they see me. Yeesh, that's gotta be tough, though. Wait, by visitors, do you mean people who just come to the library? This library, not the one from the normal world. Hmm? Most arrive by falling asleep in the normal library. They'll find themselves dreaming in this place. Either they'll wake up on their own or someone will kill them to force them to wake up. If you would like, I can wake you up right now. I can make it painless. Uh, uh, no, I didn't fall asleep. I just walked in here to get out of the snowstorm. You may have just, um, slipped through then. That's not good. Usually, that happens with visitors coming from deeper within. That's not good. What does that mean? It means you are here with your physical body. If you die here, there's no way of knowing what will happen to you. The longer you stay, the more it will... Like, you mean learn? I, I press too fast. Uh, the more it learns, the more ammunition it has to make you suffer. Learns? I would have run out of after the static thing, but all the outside doors are covered with in metal vines. After the rear guy shot him, he left behind a library card. That's the main lead I have been following. Library card? I was wondering why she told me to hold on to my card all of a sudden. Do you have one? I did, but I used it as a bookmark, sorry. Let me get the book. Oh my... Whoa, are you alright? I'm fine. It just looks like a certain someone doesn't want me... Want me to be the one to get it. Huh? Pay attention. It's a book called Fred and Bedwin. Repeat the little back... Repeat the title back so I know you are. you clearly understand. Bread and the Breadman. It's about a crow. You should find it by the books about the bird. Is it far? No. Nope. Just be careful. Thanks. Okay. Why does it look like I'm gonna go die? Oh, uh, before I go, what's your name? Caroline. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to find someone I can trust here. I'll be right back with that book. I don't think I'm gonna be. That bookshelf's gonna fall behind me, isn't it? Hand back. No? Alright. She said by the birds. Right? That means some um, 
by this side, right? The shelf is filled with uh, okay. bread and the bread man, she said. By the birds. Look, the more book, what is I'll see? The drawing of all I've seen. Bread the bread man isn't here. Well, the thing is, if when I try to go back, something is gonna happen. Right? Why is that book bloody? Yo! Did you find it? Not yet. The books here are organized by subject. Try looking at the shelves for other books about birds. Try looking at shelves for other books about birds. Oh, wait a minute, these dialogues are different. It was pretty stupid since I'm sure the book was just about a bird taking care of. Okay. Browse this side. Uh, do I have to like browse? It's saying different um, thing every single time. It's guide to bird watching. When it flew. Why are they okay? Very nice. Like, do I have to seriously? <coughs> Don't tell me it's right under the, her the bird thing, and I'm an idiot. Oh my god! I just had to search under the bird. Seriously, I grabbed the book off the shelf. I'm a Wait a minute, something changed here. This is not the design it was before. Well, shit. It's a maze now. What about cars, huh? That monster is gonna pop out anytime soon. Um. Oh, what's that? There's a vet coming out of the bookshelf for some reason. It has a sign of asking for summer reading ticket next to it. Summer reading ticket exchange here. I remember that from, from elementary school. Every book you read during the summer gets you a prize ticket. Haha, <laughs> I still can't believe the pocket game was real. Well, worth a creep straight. Can I do something with it? Okay, I need a ticket then. Mm. What's that? It's an old tiki bar. That was converted into a booth for the summer reading program. There's a roll of chief paper tickets on the table. When I was a kid, they gave you a, yeah, yeah, all that you could say. So, <coughs> okay, I have the price ticket now. Do I go on the left or just I just go take the went? I wonder. Maybe I just take the went, you know? Fuck it. I'm on the wrong side, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I, I, I did not even see where the monster was. 
But um, I'm pretty sure it spawns somewhere. Uh, holy shit, I survived. I didn't even see the monster. <laughs> um, okay. So the girl is supposed to be here, right? I guess so. Somewhere here. Yo! You're back! Did you find something? Did something happen? I'm sorry I couldn't come with you. Was it a trap? I'm alive now. <sighs> it's fine. Uh huh. I'm glad you're okay. Hey, you don't have to cry. Sorry I made you worry like that. Can you read the book to me? Yeah, I can do that. Fred and the Breadman. <laughs> In a small, small town, there was a small, small tree. At the top of the small, small tree, there was a small, small nest. Inside the small, small nest was a small, small crow. The small, small crow was named Fred. Fred was a lonely, lonely bird next to a lonely, lonely house. There was nobody who would stop by and see lonely, lonely Fred or the lonely, lonely house. The only thing Fred had for the company was shiny, shiny things. He had shiny, shiny pebbles, shiny, shiny leaves, and shiny, shiny paper. One day, an old man moved. Old, old man moved into the lonely, lonely house. Fred, Fred watched the many, many people bring many, many things into the lonely, lonely house. Even though many, many people brought in many, many things, they all ended up leaving the old, old man alone, alone in the lonely, lonely house alongside the many many things fred began to watch the old old man from his small small nest the old old man would watch a cover colorful colorful box take a loud la naps read large large books and cut himself some yummy yummy bread Fred didn't realize just how near he had got into the lonely, lonely house until he had smelled the old, old man's yummy, yummy bread. The old, old man also realized just how near Fred has gotten. So the old man gave Fred some yummy, yummy bread. Fred soon found himself coming back to the old, old man every day to get more yummy, yummy bread. This made the lonely, lonely house no longer lonely. One day, Fred decided to give the old, old man one of his shiny, shiny things. This made the old, old man give Fred yummy, yummy cheese alongside the yummy, yummy bread. This continued until Fred had run out of shiny, shiny things. Fred was afraid that the old, old man wouldn't want to see him anymore if he didn't have anything to bring to him. When Fred came to visit though, the old, old man had made a new, new house for Fred, and inside was all of the Fred's shiny shiny things framed and labeled. So Fred and the old man lived together in no longer lonely lonely house and enjoyed all the yummy yummy bread and yummy yummy cheese they wanted. The end. The card is here. Thank you. Huh? I should be thanking you. I used to read to my cousins while babysitting to them. And my mom used to read it to me when I was little. <sighs> oh shit. Don't die here, Mitch. Please don't die here. Or anywhere near here. I'll try. I pick up Caroline Pargana's library card. Okay. I'll do it. This looks like um, there's a picture book left out on display on top shelf. The book is called Grizzly, Grizzly Bedtime Tales for Goshlin Children. Ghoulish Children, oh my god. <laughs> Should I take a look? Yes. The book is sticky with something. I can't get the first few pages open without worrying about ripping it. At least I can get to the second story. Little Stuck at Hump. Oh my dear Conrad said mama on one lovely day today i need to go out and leave you home all by yourself you need to listen to your mama when i say this conrad don't go about sucking your thumb while i'm away 
the great wall the great and tall tailor will come to the little boys who suck their thumb before they even realize once he arrives he takes his great sharp scissors and cuts their thumbs clean off where they will never grow back as soon as mama turned her back while leaving through the door dear conrad had already placed his thumb in his mouth oh dear oh dear suddenly the door flew open and he ran it was great and tall scissor man oh take a tall children the tailor has come and caught our little suck a thumb the scissor went snip 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 conrad went ah 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 snip 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 both of conrad's thumbs are now gone mama came home to a still and sad conrad he showed his thumbless hand to mama aha mama said i knew he would come for you my not a little suck a thumb the end the pair of scissors falls out of the box and i take them without thinking okay <laughs> all right that was um they know Uh, maybe I should look. Maybe I'll get more things. They kind of look unique, though. I don't think um, I'll find it. Other places. Um, I do need to figure out. Um, what do you say? More things. What's under? What the fuck is that? Is it a cafeteria? I got scared for a second when the music stopped. Is it a cafeteria or something? I believe it's a cafeteria, right? Big ones. Did I take? A oh no, I did not make. A I was like, did I again do some dumb shit? I can't go there. Looked like I could go inside this thing. But I guess I cannot. Oh wait a minute, what's that? It looks like something interesting. <coughs> a more noteworthy looking book is Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I guess it's about flowers, kinda. I don't think anything's still. You know, now once it has given me an item from a book, I have the urge to check every book. I don't wanna disturb this guy. Yo, what's up? I should move my mouse away. Oh, he has a key card. There's a library card in the puppet's mouth. Ugh. Never saw anything like this in the library as a kid. Can I take it though? Take. Whoa, there, buddy! Take me out to dinner before you do that. Looks like my break time is over, folks. I guess one of you is an impatient pile of porcelain. I am dead of war. The crowd of dolls is laughing and cheering. All right, Pally. I get it. You want the little card I snatched out of the vents, right? Yes. Amazing! The dummy can speak. But this is Pietro's special story time. Not little Hayes fever over here. Um. Uh, I tell you what, puppet boy, I'll give you the card on one condition. I need you to help me perform a little fairy tale for the audience here. Once the story's over, I make sure you get the card. <sighs> oh my god. Um, we got ourselves a deal. Michonete. Well. Guess what? To continue with the clown story, watch the next episode. <laughs> uh, fuck it.